guys and girls, it's Team Massive Joe's sponsored athlete, Asha Colthard. I'm here with Keeping Up With Asha, a fitness models journal, season five, episode five. So it's been a, two weeks, two weeks since I've shot a video. Uh, it was a little bit hectic because we had the engagement party, so everything was like full steam ahead with that. Um, so I got a little bit busy, so I apologize. Uh, the engagement party was a success. Uh, we had, everyone had a really great time. It was really beautiful. Uh, the setup was amazing. So a huge thanks to Jess Doldig who organized everything for me and pretty much made the night so beautiful. So thank you, Jess. Uh, now everyone's wondering how I'm going in terms of prep. Now I haven't been posting a lot of photos because as you all know, that's not what I do close to prep. I like to keep it a surprise. So uh, this week I actually lost a lot of weight. So I think because last, like the, the week of the engagement party, as you all imagine, the bride-to-be can be very stressed. Um, so I think I was holding on to a lot of fluid and didn't really have any huge changes that week. So this week I actually dropped just over two kilos. So um, a lot of it could have just been like fluid weight and not really sure it's kind of a huge drop and I'm not really used to dropping that much, but I'm excited, so that's okay. Uh, so I'm currently four weeks out from the Australasian. So as everyone knows, I'm not peaking for that show, I'm peaking for Hong Kong. So I'm seven weeks out from Hong Kong. So still so much time, uh, it's, Oh, it feels like it's just dragging, like I don't feel like it's going fast at all. So it's really good that there's the Australasian in between because it kind of like breaks it up a little bit. Um, yeah, so still seven weeks out from Hong Kong, which is cool. I haven't booked anything yet, so better get my ass into gear with that. Um, in terms of diet, training, cardio, now diet, I haven't had any changes at all. So yeah, I guess that's been good in that sense. Um, because I haven't had any changes. I've uh, just been cruising along and still getting drops, so that's cool. Uh, training is being changed a little bit, I think, from the last video. I'm now doing full upper body workouts and hamstrings and glutes, and I'm doing a little, band, a little bit of band work as well. So I think that will be my next video. I think we'll do a, bit, a band video so you can all get an insight of that because I haven't done that before, so that would be kind of cool. Um, cardio, now cardio changed a little bit just because I was a little bit concerned that I wasn't dropping anything. Um, so we changed that to lists and plyos, so we're just alternating those two. And I started back up at uh, Total Fitness, which is my hit gym on Henley Beach Road. Uh, so I started back with them on Wednesday, uh, absolutely killed me. Um, so yeah, that's, it's been good to, to get that back in as well because um, Jai pushes me to the absolute limit to the point where I feel like I'm going to spew after every session. Um, so that's good to add that back in. Um, so I've just been alternating, yeah, the, the ply and the lists uh, every day. Um, besides Saturdays and Sundays, I've just kind of been resting. Um, we're just going for a light walk with Zeppelin and Joseph. Uh, what else has been happening? So we had the IFBB workshop come to Adelaide. So that was really successful. That was really great. World Gym Norwood held that one. Um, and we had uh, Carol Graham and Dre come over, my coach. Uh, they're both um, the head IFBB judges. So, and they're both international judges as well. So that's, that was really good. It was really good for the SA community, the IFBB community get together and just discuss any questions that we had and um, learn some new posing, which was cool, and just get to know the judges as well. So uh, obviously it's really important to try and get that um, the understanding of what they want from a show and what they want from you as an athlete as well. So yeah, that was cool. Uh, all the Team Ashes girl came, uh, all the Team Asher girls came, so that was good. And yeah, it was a really great day. So hopefully we get to do those a little bit more often. So yeah, thanks for everyone that came along as well. It was really good to see some friendly faces and some old faces and some new faces. So the IFBB family is growing a lot. So that's really great to see. 
Uh, now, in terms of Team Asha, uh, Team Asha are currently two weeks out. So we're two weeks out from the um, Amanda Doherty All Female Classic in Melbourne. So they've got this week left, and then they hit Peak Week. So for two of them, it's their first Peak Week. Uh, for one of them, it's their first Peak Week, and um, so that's kind of nerve-wracking for her, but. They're all doing absolutely amazing and they're looking great. Um, I'm not stressed about any of them. So yeah, I'm really happy. So just make sure you um, jump on my page to follow their, their journeys. So we'll make sure we post lots of videos and photos of their upcoming competitions. Uh, now, the IFBB SA show, we've had a few preps start for that one. So that one is going to be on the 1st of October and then We've got the Nationals, which is going to be the Oceana this year, uh, on the 22nd of October. So lots of preps starting for Season B. Um, so we've got a big team coming into the SA show. So yeah, it's going to be full steam ahead for me. Um, but uh, yeah, it's really good. They're, all the girls are doing really well. So now I've got some exciting news. Um, I've been offered a really good job at World Gym. So Team Asha is going to be moving locations um, in the next few weeks. So that's really exciting. Um, got some really good plans on board to, to do with World Gym. So yeah, that's really exciting. And I hope to see you all there because World Gym is absolutely amazing. And yeah, I'm really excited for this new little adventure. Um, change is as good as a holiday, they say. So yeah, I'm looking forward to my holiday. <laughs> uh, what else has been happening in my personal life? The wedding planning is, again, full steam ahead. So that's all go. Um, it's been fun. I'm really enjoying that process. So that's kind of cool, something different. Uh, in terms of anything else, not a lot has really been happening besides prep, wedding, engagement party and Team Asha. So yeah, that's about it really. Um, if you have any questions, just make sure you hit me up on my Facebook or my Instagram and or comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Now, today we did a, well, my, my workout for today, so I did a workout for you as well. Um, it's my upper body workout. So this one's been new for the last couple of weeks. So it's just literally like a full circuit and I'll run through that with you as well. So it's a full upper body circuit. And I also went and did my bikini fitting. Um, so I've got two bikinis being made for the Australasian and for Hong Kong. So that's really exciting. And the color is a surprise. Um, so we'll run that footage on here as well and I'll give you some insight on that. So here I am training my upper body workout. So with this upper body workout, I try and hit at least one body part with each circuit. So I did three circuits to begin with. Um, so we did tricep push downs um, and I'm aiming for 10 to 15 reps, keeping the weight quite light, and then I move on to the next exercise. So the next exercise was barbell shoulder press. Again, keeping the weight really light. This was only 10 kilos and aiming for 10 to 15 reps. So the aim for these sort of workouts is just to pump the blood there um, and then move on to the next body part, pump it there and just keep going. Um, so the next one was barbell bicep curls. Uh, so again, I use the same weight. I don't try and complicate things. Um, I'm not squeezing to the excess. I just literally just pump the weight and push the weight through. Uh, so I did three sets of those and then I moved on to my next circuit. So the next circuit was dumbbell lateral raises. So again, this is really lightweight. We were only doing three kilos. Um, and with these ones, I was focusing on squeezing at the top and then lowering down. And again, I was aiming for 10 to 15 reps. So the next one was dumbbell bicep curls. Again, just using the same weight. Um, so squeezing at the top and then lowering the weight down. So just focusing on pumping the blood up and then lowering the weight down. Again, 10 to 15 reps with these ones. Um, just till I started to feel that little bit of a burn and then I moved on to the next exercise. 
So the next exercise was tricep dips. So this one actually hurt a lot because my shoulders were really tight at the moment. Um, I need to go get those released, obviously. Um, but with tricep dips, I think I did 20 reps of these. So because there's no weight, I just go for that little bit extra um, and just push through as fast as I can. Uh, the next exercise was one arm high cable rows. I love this exercise. This is probably one of my favorites. I love training back. Um, so with the high cable row, obviously the cable is quite high um, and full release through the lat and then you squeeze the lat back. Now again, the weight was quite light and I was only going for 10 to 15 reps and then we move on to the next side. So again, just focusing on squeezing, pump the blood as fast as you can to the muscle and then move on to the next exercise. So again, I did three sets um, of this little circuit, 10 to 15 reps, and then I moved on to the next circuit. So like I said, I had three circuits in this workout. So the next one is tricep reverse pull downs. Um, now again, 10 to 15 reps, and just focusing on the squeeze. I'm not doing any sort of drop sets or anything like that. Just keeping the weight really light and pushing it through. Now, the next exercise was cable bicep hammer curls. Um, so again, keeping the weight light, squeezing at the top and then lowering down. I love this exercise as well. So just really make sure you don't activate your shoulders um, and just try and focus on the, the muscle that you're training. Uh, so 10 to 15 reps with this one as well. And then I move on to cable rear delt face pulls. I love training rear delts as well. Actually, I love training all shoulder exercises. Um, so with the cable face pulls, again, I squeeze really hard and then release them out slow. So again, just pumping the weight as hard as I can to that, that body part and then releasing it out slow. Again, I did 10 to 15 reps with this one. Um, the weight was quite light, so I think it was only sitting on 13 kilos. Um, and yeah, just pushed it through. Now I finished this workout with back extensions. Now this is on the hyper extension piece of equipment. Um, so this one can be used two ways. Obviously it can be used for your glutes or it can be used for your lower back. So today we're using it for lower back. So as you can see, my glutes don't activate at all. They stay quite soft and I'm just activating my lower back. Um, so you lower down and squeeze at the top. Again, I did, I think I did 10 reps with this one and that was it. So again, three sets of this circuit and that was my workout. Moving on to my bikini fitting. So with the bikini fitting, um, it's, I find it very beneficial if you can actually go in and see the girls at Glam Fit Bikinis. Uh, because not only get, do you get to try all the bikinis on um, in terms of fit and sizing and bikini cups and things like that, you also get to have a look at the colours in person and then they can sit down and work out which sort of uh, jewels and colours to put on the bikini as well as all your connectors as well. So it's really important that you get your bikini fitted um, so it's 100% perfect, perfect on the day. Um, so I went in and saw the girls and I tried on a million bikinis and actually decided on two colours. So this always happens, I can never decide on one. So I decided on two colours and these are not the colours that are in the video right now. I did the sneaky sneaky and put two different colours on to film. Um, so my bikinis will be a surprise. So I hope you all enjoyed my video um, and my bikini fitting. I can't wait to show you all my colors that I chose. Uh, so if, like I said before, if you have any questions or need anything at all, then just hit me up on Facebook or Instagram and I'll get back to you as soon as possible or comment below. So you know what to do, hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with all the massivejoes.com YouTube, video, YouTube videos and all the Keeping Up With Asha YouTube videos as well. Um, lots of exciting things to come. Uh, obviously, Hong Kong is going to be absolutely amazing. So we've got some videos coming to that. So make sure you subscribe to stay up to date. And I'm coming to you from MassiveJoes.com.